worst. Good morning, everybody. It's your boy again, and very early in the morning, the sun is shining. And today I'm at UCLA once again. Gotta do some work, so let's just see how the day unfolds. Guys, right now I'm at UCLA. There's an active shooter, and um, they have told us to close all the doors and um, turn off all the lights and everything like that. This is all I can vlog for you guys. The camera's with me right now. I hear helicopters outside, and the shooter is coming towards my position right now. Um, I really hope that all the Bruins are safe on campus, and please God make me safe as well. This is this is really crazy. Guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but I just barricaded the doors with our chairs Hoping the shooter doesn't come into our place Guys, right now I'm in the bathroom locked. We have barricaded the doors. All the lights are off um, I'm getting a lot of reports and everything like that. I just closed. We are locked in the bathroom right now and they said the shooter is coming towards our location and the shooter is already shot by the building by us so i'm not sure what is going on it's just it's this is a lot and like i hear the helicopters and stuff like that i'm getting a lot of different reports and everything like that i just pray that everybody's safe but i hope i'm safe as well because this is just ridiculous i'm getting updates that ucla um, has deactivated all the cars to get inside this building. All the doors are locked from inside and out. The shooter has assault rifles, so I'm not sure if like the doors will be able to stop them. Um, oh, this is getting ridiculous. Guys, we just got out of the lockdown. They let everyone get out of where they were. This is one of the most scariest moments of my life. I was getting reports that the shooter was near my location and I had to barricade the doors and it was just people were crying and everything. You guys can hear the helicopters right now. Oh, I am, I have to do some work. So I am literally gonna pass where the person was um, shot and everything like that uh, they open campus back up and you know what the crazy thing is like everyone like it's finals week and everything and professors who had finals today say the finals are still going on which i think that's like it's crazy people uh, experience something so traumatic and all that and besides all the professors like still your final is still on which is uh, ridiculous but i hope everyone's safe too my prayers go out to the innocent so that light got taken away and just hope everything gets better. So the work I had to do was close. Um, for obvious reasons, it was due to the the lockout and you know closing of the campus. But you guys can see here that there is eyewitness news and just a bunch of news stations just everywhere. There's KTLA over there, and there's just all different types of news stations covering the report of the shooting. So. The campus seems really quiet right now. You don't see a lot of people, and that is for obvious reasons. All right, guys, I'm still at UCLA in the library right now. Still shooken up from the events that happened today. Uh, the helicopters are still up in the air and everything. So, you know, just constant, constant reminder. But got some work to do and hopefully to head back home soon. All right, guys, right now I'm going to be asking people how they felt during uh, the whole lockdown situation and what they were going through and everything like that. So with further ado, here are some interviews by your boy. All right, everybody, I'm with two UCLA students, Sarah and Tina. <laughs> so where were you guys during the lockdown? What happened? Give me your guys' thoughts. Well, we both had math class together and we were in um, math sciences, which is like connected to Bolter. And um, she started crying. Sarah yeah, it was it was really scary. Like they they put us on lockdown and we couldn't leave and we had no idea what was going on. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, and like everyone was calling, everyone was texting. It was really scary, honestly. Mm -hmm. And um, we didn't have any information, so people were watching like KTLA online and all this stuff. It was yeah, really crazy. Did everyone you, was on their phone. Did you guys think the shooter might come to your guys' place or like mm -hmm. where yeah, where? And were you guys locked? Did you guys lock? Uh, get on the floor? Turn off the lights? Like, what was the procedure around where you guys were? 
Everyone was like um, bolting the door yeah. with like stuff, like they were putting like printers yeah. and like chairs and everything. Um, the teachers were freaking out. Everyone was just like having a really bad time. How do you so. think the the university should react to this type of like involvement stuff like that? How do you think they should react for the students? I think they did a good job, honestly. Yeah, they did pretty well. Um, it turns like all the security came, the police, um, the SWAT team, and it was just really FBI. fast reaction and like everyone was safe, thank God, so that worked out. And the aftermath, students' mental health and stuff like that, how do you think teachers can help and uh, UCLA can help? Stop emailing us about finals. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, take away finals. So you guys still having, if you guys had finals today, you guys would be still having them, right? Yeah. A lot of, yeah. Yeah, there's, we still have finals next week, and some people had finals today, too. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it's still going on or if they got postponed, but all our classes got canceled today, so that was yeah. good. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you. What's up, guys? Now it is time to go get some food. It was actually tough trying to get some interviews from multiple people because a lot of people didn't want to talk about it. But time to eat some good old sushi. done eating sushi and I feel so bad because I never um, introduced whenever I'm with Angie so Angie hi so I'm with Angie guys and big announcement on June 5th I know I just put it in the vlog before I'm seeing you guys in person I'm having a big announcement June 5th huge announcement so stay tuned Okay, okay guys, wow, I am sleepy and my stomach is full. I am heading home right now and unfortunately everybody is sleeping. I wanted you guys to see how Momoji reacted when I was at the you know lockout. But um all of a sudden everyone wants, wants to go to sleep early. But it is, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video. It was a traumatic experience for me, just how everything went down and just like and also guys um i didn't get to say but there's so much information being being given to us like through credible sources that we didn't know what to believe like when they said the shooter was approaching our building and everything like that like they were saying that they're shooting up like the dorms they're shooting up north campus south campus and like all that and like they said there's four shooters but the final after everything has settled they said there was one shooter and two people died so it was a homicide and suicide attack so that's what it is right now but during the moment they were saying there were multiple shooters this is a planned attack beware be all that so we were all freaking out but i'm just glad that everyone's safe um, praying for the innocent life that was you know taken away and be safe cherish your blessings i want to say good night <laughs>